New research suggests COVID-19 appears to be causing sudden strokes in adults in their 30s and 40s who are not otherwise showing any symptoms of the virus. Evidence shows that the virus can cause the blood to clot in unusual ways. Joining me now to explain the connection and the warning signs is local cardiologist Pamela Rama with Baptist Medical Center. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me here yeah, this morning. Absolutely. Now, I, I, I do want to point out that, I mean, we're, we're only, what, three or four months into COVID-19. So in terms of research, there's not a whole lot because we're still dealing with the pandemic. This involved a doctor out of New York who studied five patients who had mild to no symptoms at all. That said, though, can you explain this kind of connection between the virus and, and stroke? So one thing that we know from the, the experience of the physicians in Wuhan, China, is that thrombosis or clotting is a big feature of COVID infections. As a matter of fact, you see this especially in patients who are in end stage or the ones who are severely uh, you know, sick. And what happens in the intensive care unit is they form clots because you know, the clotting factors are produced during inflammation. So you think of it as a defense mechanism of the body that's going to mock. So you have a lot of these clot clotting factors that are in your bloodstream, and, and they produce blood clots. And, and the most common ones we've seen are the ones in the lungs and in the legs, and, and they've been described to clot up, you know, lines, IV lines. So think, this is unusual in a way. Yeah, well, it's, it's, yeah, it's interesting because I think what surprised me about it when I read this is we're not talking about those who are on ventilators, but I mean, this may be involving young people who are not at all symptomatic or have mild symptoms and don't have any idea that this virus that they think is making them just a little sick could end up causing them to have a stroke. Absolutely. I mean, but you have to remember that these are five patients that we're talking about. So it's not clear why these young patients who had mild and in some cases no symptoms at all presents predominantly with a stroke. And the strokes that uh, were involved were large strokes. I understand that they were involving the large arteries in the brain. And, and I think that that's a very important point because we never want to be an alarmist, right? So I think that this leads us, though, to the second part of this because we know that two of the five here hesitated to call 911. And we've reported this before. And that is, is that people in general are afraid to go to the hospital for whatever reason is associated with COVID-19 and may be experiencing symptoms and not actually go to the hospital and it can make their case worse. What are the symptoms then that they should not be ignoring? Okay, so so there's a we we call that uh, B fast. The B would be balance. Uh, so people tend to be unsteady. So that can be a symptom. So most of the symptoms or strokes are are unilateral. So it affects what side of the brain. It depends on what side of the brain is affected. And the vision can be affected as well. So you could have a loss of vision in one eye. People describe it as a veil coming down one eye. The facial droop is a common symptom as well. So when you make them smile, one part of their face doesn't you know, they doesn't smile, or the lips doesn't go up. You could have the arms or weakness of the arms, and you could have speech impediment. So people have expressive aphasia. They're not able to speak or to, to uh, speak coherently. Um, and when you have any of those symptoms, your viewers need to remember that the treatment of strokes is the same for COVID and non-COVID patients. You have to get that artery unplugged as soon as possible. And whether that's with medications or with the procedure called the thrombectomy, where they actually remove the clot from the brain, those are life-saving procedures. So they have to call 911 right away. So it's interesting because what are, I know we're, you're, you're functioning, your entire practice is functioning basically on telemedicine. Are you finding that you're having fewer patients call you than, than maybe this time last year? Yes, absolutely. And I think a lot of patients, even more importantly, you know, they're having heart attacks at home because they are afraid to go to the emergency room. They, number one, think that they won't have uh, anyone who can take care of them. Number two is they're afraid to have, uh, you know, to, to get the COVID infection in the hospitals. And, and we want to reassure patients that we really take good care of our patients in the emergency room. So if you're thinking that you have a heart attack or you're having a stroke, Time is essential, so you need to go to the emergency room right away. Don't hesitate. Call. Fantastic message. Dr. Pamela Rama is joining us. Cardiologist from Baptist Medical Center. Thank you. Have a great weekend. And we'll Thank be right you. back.